What's up guys and gals and welcome to another thrilling episode. Okay, I can't promise it's gonna be thrilling. There may not be any gunfire and grenade throwing or whatever else comprises like an exciting episode, but what I can say is that we are playing Oxygen Not Included today. Welcome on back in. Now we got lots of jobs to do, lots of things to be done, lots of stuff to oversee, so let's make sure everything's okay here. Uh, so I was looking over here and I think there's still a little bit of polluted water left inside of our pipes. I can't 100% tell you that it sucked all of it out every now and again. I don't know. I think my game bugged out when I loaded, too. It's kind of weird. I loaded my save before I started this episode, and all the water in this bottom pipe was corrupted. And so when it came up in, it just, like, messed up all of my machines super badly, and they had to spend a ton of time sitting around getting the wrench on trying to fix it. And then after, like, the entire pipe full of just corrupted water was gone, it was fine. And so I have no idea what happened. I loaded in, and I was like, I don't recall this happening. What is going on right now? Apparently somebody like peed in the water or something or I mean I went through all the water and there's nothing corrupted or polluted down in here so maybe it was just a bug. I don't know what to think about it. It's a little bit weird. Uh, we appear to be mostly out of algae and so that phase of our gameplay is basically done. Uh, my concern is such that we need to come up with a so that's consuming we've got 2000 algae left. That's not a lot. That's not a good supply of algae, but it should hold us for at least a couple more days until I can get the uh, electrolyzers and the hydrogen generators all up and running and working. Uh, once people go inside of here, they should never go back in here again. In fact, I'm thinking about just walling it off unless corrupted water comes through. If corrupted water comes through, that's going to be one of the few situations in which I'm going to need to... So I'm not going to connect these pipes until this is all ready to go. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Oh, there's some... What is that right there? There's something right there. What is that? Tell me what that is. Polluted oxygen. Okay. I can live with polluted oxygen for now. I don't know how polluted oxygen got in here, though, which is my main concern. I'm actually finally going to take another colonist, I think. Uh, we could use one more. The workload's becoming a bit much for everybody that I have at the moment, so I'd like to have somebody that can add on to it, except all these people are, like, terrible. Loud sleeper and irritable bowel syndrome. Okay, we'll go with her. That sounds good. It's Bon He. I notice I get a lot of characters named Bon He. Like every time I've played this game, I've had a character named Bon He. Must be a very popular name. Aside from that, another thing that I'm thinking about doing in this episode is we'll put in a little project right here, and I'm just going to drain this into this cistern right here as well. Or this brother, and honestly, I don't know the sex of our water receptacle. I haven't checked under the hood, alright? It's considered very rude among water receptacles to just walk up and flip a skirt and be like, oh, hey, what's going on? Like, just don't do that. Oh my good sweet lord. Yeah, sweep that, please. Also sweep that. That's where it's coming from right there. We've got turds laying on the ground, and for some reason... Nobody is doing anything about it. I'm very concerned about these turds. If you're not going to do anything else, then at least... Yeah, at least build the compost heap so that we can finally sweep. Make the heap so that we can sweep. No, don't go to sleep. That coincidentally rhymed. I wasn't expecting it to, but you know what? It worked out. Now, in cycle 26, the general idea that I'm shooting for is that we'll have the electrolyzers here. With the electrolyzers, my main idea that I'm playing around with is that I need some kind of, so with utilities, I need something that's, so we've got oxygen, maybe it's plumbing that I'm looking at here. Yeah, and so I'm thinking that if we can get some kind of gas pump, so I'm going to put a gas pump in here, I'm going to tell it to suck oxygen, I'm going to put a filter on it, the filter is going to say to suck out hydrogen, it's going to take a pipe up to here, dump the hydrogen into the hydrogen generator area, and then hopefully I'll be able to build ventilation into each of these main areas so that the oxygen will kind of just flow around. This plan might fail horribly. This is one of those things that I've left kind of dark as far as the playthrough is concerned. I purposefully did not learn to do this when I was playing on my own so that at least we would have something to struggle with while we were playing this game so that I didn't come in just like knowing how everything works and not even tripping about it. Not even tripping. Somebody, is that algae? Oh, it's algae. Wow, that's like a thousand kilograms of algae. Holy shit, somebody take that and store it. Where did that come from? A thousand kilograms of algae? Good sweet lord, man. That's more algae. That's a ton of algae right there. That's a massive quantity of algae that I did not expect to have. I also need to have all of this dug out of the way. Dude, Doug was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. I loved Doug. I don't know. Even when I was a kid, I liked vaguely introspective shows that weren't, like, all about farts and shenanigans all the time. Like, I loved Dexter's Lab. So my favorite cartoons of all time 
Dexter's Lab is probably pretty high on that list. Uh, I've been craving, now that they've brought back Samurai Jack, I'm hoping that, I'm really hoping that Gendy Tartakovsky will, uh, I'm, I'm sincerely hoping he'll bring back Dexter's Lab or some kind of follow-up to Dexter's Lab. I, I would love to see it, and I'm pretty sure Cartoon Network needs the help right now. They aren't really running a whole lot of shows anymore. Most of the stuff they're running is stuff like Chowder and whatnot that I don't really watch. I think I need a blast from the past, you know? Uh, my parents used to sit around when I was a kid. My parents loved it when they used to play, like, Super Chunk and whatnot on Cartoon Network because it was the cartoons from when they were kids, you know? I would personally love to see... Can they get that right there? I don't know if they can get that right there. They may or may not be able to achieve that particular objective. So we've got a little bit of organic material left. My guess is that that's the algae that's keeping us afloat right now. That it's counting. Let's take a ladder. We'll put this in. Oh, that's not really what I desired. Let's go to my... There, it's weird how when you haven't played a game in like a week... I haven't played this game in like a week. It's weird how you still... Like when I went to the cancel button right there, it was 100% muscle memory. Like I didn't think about going to the cancel button and doing it. My hand just like did it because it knew I needed to cancel. It's weird how you remember keybinds and stuff like that. Like my favorite video game of all time is Shadowrun on the Sega Genesis. Love Shadowrun on the Sega Genesis. It's one of my favorite titles ever. And... It's strange how I haven't played that game very frequently over the last 20 years or so, but I play it every now and again, and it's strange how I just remember stuff about that game. Like, it's so ingrained into my psyche that I, I played it so much when I was a kid that I know, like, everything about the game, and it's just... I instinctually know what to do with all the different situations in it. If you've never played Shadowrun on the Sega Genesis, I highly recommend it. It was one of the first open-world sandbox games, I mean, before Grand Theft Auto, before all that stuff. Uh, it was one of the original console sandbox games where you could basically play the game however you want and all the content was randomly generated in it, which is pretty incredible considering the game came out in like the early mid 90s. Like, you didn't see a lot of random generation back in those days. Do I have a lot? I got seven people now, so somebody's sleeping on the flow. Okay, you don't even know when I'm sleeping on the flow. Gotta go to the dough because I gotta get the dro. Alright, well, we'll see if we can uh, move this over right here. We'll dig it over slightly. It's vacuum right there, so that shouldn't represent too much of a problem. Worst case scenario is that our base will get a little bit cleaner when we do this. Uh, we'll more than likely not want to expose the slime to oxygen. If you expose slime to oxygen, it begins converting it over and polluting it. Uh, my suggestion would be that we do something like that right there. Actually, I'm going to bring that in by one. And then we'll cancel this outward part right here. And we'll just add an extra bed on this side and some more art projects and whatnot too. All right, so on this side, I still need ladders to go up to there. We will flag these for deconstruction. And now that they've been deconstructed, I think we'll start running some piping here. So as far as the plumbing is concerned, uh, I need this out pipe to run over to here. I'm pretty sure pipe pressure is going to get a little bit wonky. But we're honestly not producing that much like polluted. I don't think we're producing that much polluted water. Like, with seven colonists, I mean, it's more than manageable. If I was running, like, 25 colonists right now, I think we'd have a bathroom problem. But by and large, I'm fairly pleased with the way things have gone so far. That doesn't need anything from us. So instead, what I'm going to focus on is I need to get this all hooked up back into the main grid. So I'm going to take this, and we're just going to run it over to here. This pipe is more than likely going to be overdrawn. We're probably going to get this project done just in time to save ourselves from the impending non-oxygen doom that is looking us in our eyeball non-oxygen doom the hatch over here is producing coal as per usual i mean i could make a whole bunch of coal generators but i just don't feel solid about that like the coal generators i think they produce a shit ton of carbon dioxide or something like that and it just seems like it's going to be troublesome in order to get that done i don't know why is water flowing that way on this liquid pipe that don't seem right to me. Hold on. Flow should be constricted to one direction here. Okay, so I messed that up. That's not going to work. Oh, but now there's polluted oxygen in there. Shizer. Okay, so... Cancel that deconstruction. Actually, cancel all of it. I'm going to go to the pipe menu. I got to make that go over the top. I was hoping it would all just naturally flow in the direction that I wanted. And it did not go down like that. So what we need to do now is mop this. That needs to be high priority mopping. Oh, good. They destroyed that too. Fantastic. That's cool. Whatever. We'll fix it in a minute. That's going to fall down to the bottom. 
I think. And this would be a pretty strong, plausible argument for no longer using uh, mesh gates. If they can clean up the pee, that'd be fantastic. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of polluted oxygen in here due to that fact. It was just an engineering failure on my part. I just kind of chose the wrong thing to do right there. And now I got to live in... I got to pay for it, and I got to live with it. All right, so now that that's all done, we will go back to our oxygen solution here. We will put a deodorizer in here, two deodorizers. We will put in uh, two electrolyzers. As soon as the electrolyzers are done, we will get this... Uh... Well, I'm not sure what that was. I don't know if those output, like... I don't know. I gotta wait till it's built. I gotta wait and have a look here. They'll get it done in just a minute. The oxygen scrubber should fix our problem there. Our polluted oxygen problem in here needs to be expunged and taken care of, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and hook those up. I thought that this had an outflow pipe, so apparently that's what I messed up, is it doesn't even have an outflow pipe. I don't know why I did that then. I don't know why I did that. On top of that, I need this liquid pipe to be deconstructed so that it's no longer in our way. And as soon as they get this done over here, we can process the slime on this side. So I know it looks like a goopy mess, but with the slime on this side, we can process the slime into algae. The problem with that strategy is that slime tends to be, well, it spreads a lot of polluted oxygen around. And so it can create kind of a nasty issue if you're trying to take care of things. I think I'm going to drain this into here next too, mostly because I need to drag a tile off this way and get a little bit more algae. So we'll do that right there just to get that wide enough. Our food is decaying because I don't have a refrigeration system set up yet. I will at one point or another, it's just I haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, in addition, this has a gas intake, so I would need to put a pump right here designed to take oxygen, or I'm sorry, hydrogen, a splitter to take anything else that it gets, like oxygen or whatever, and pipe that somewhere else, I'm assuming, as I'm looking at it. The battery recharge threshold, so no gas intake, no power consumers, yeah. Somebody should come in and do that at some point. As I'm looking at it right now, our food supply is pretty solid, and so I'm going to attempt to take some of these things off the grid. Uh, we can deconstruct the air scrubber, because I don't think we're going to need that anymore. Carbon dioxide down in this area isn't looking too bad. They've mostly cleared it out, and frankly, nobody should really be down here anyways. So we'll kill off those two. Goodbye, oxygen scrubber. I hardly knew thee. Okay, I knew thee fairly well. And also unfairly well, because I cheat at chess all the time when we used to play chess. That should take a little bit of stress and strain off of our power grid. Aside from that, we probably want to get... Ooh, we can get heavy watt wire. Cannot be run through tile. Oh, really? Is that a... Ooh. Interesting. That makes things a tad more complicated. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll do fine dining for right now. So that we can start moving things along. We need a refrigerator and some of that other stuff anyways. I'll keep an eye on our edible surfaces. I mean, we don't really need anything right now. The reason I disabled that and I kind of got rid of it is because our power grid's a little bit overtaxed at the moment anyways. So, and it's not even the power grid that's overtaxed. It's just that the wiring is taking too much. As soon as we get the electrolyzers up and running, I can kill off this stuff right here, which is a considerable power drain too. And we should be all right. Did you guys get everything cleaned out down here? Is there any concern for our carbon dioxide situation? Looks like it's mostly been handled. I'm going to deconstruct both of these so that we're not sitting around with any problems. I'm keeping these right here, though, just in case they ever find any refuse or shitty piles. Shitty poopy piles laying on the ground or anything like that. How come none of this wiring is getting done? Somebody need to come do this wiring, like, right now. I don't know what just happened, but there's pee all over the floor. When they built this electrolyzer, pee got all over the floor. I don't know if somebody pissed because they were working or what happened right there, but something definitely occurred. I'm going to put them on that mop job and tell them that it's a high priority thing because we have way too much pollution. Like, there's already too much pollution around. We got to take care of that shit. That should give us hydrogen as it starts to scrub this stuff. I get the feeling, though, I've messed something up fairly dearly. 
All right. So hydrogen is done right there. It needs a gas intake, which I assume means that it needs a gas pump in order to function. Uh, there would be two ways that I can do this. I thought it was just going to draw naturally from the air around it. I was completely and totally wrong about that. So what I'll do is I'll put a gas pump right there. And after deconstructing this mess, I'll put a gas pump right there. Although, as you can tell, hydrogen has already leaked into all of our other areas. So we may die a horrible hydrogen-related death. It's a possibility. Luckily, hydrogen is very light and goes upwards. So the worst case scenario is that it ends up like way up here in the top of the base where we're not going to go anyways. Which is why I always build my base with a central shaft like that that just vents up into nothingness that I don't care about. Because it makes for good problem solving. It's the same thing we do nowadays with the environment. You just shove it somewhere until it becomes such a huge problem that you can't ignore it anymore. But for now, it's not a problem any longer. So don't worry about it. Uh, on this side, we'll put you in right there. I would prefer that this gets constructed now. Let's go ahead and disable both of these so that they're not pumping a shit ton of hydrogen in when we don't want there to be a shit ton of hydrogen. We just need to limit that problem for right now since we're still going to be doing construction. This will suck hydrogen. This will suck oxygen. Hopefully. And if all goes well, we will never have to go inside this room ever again once this is all finished off. I would like to run some power. All right, there's power. There's power. Now everything is mostly done here. Now we just need to figure out the piping system to make sure that everything works out well. And apparently oxygen piping falls underneath the jurisdiction, so this is gonna pull oxygen. We take you to there. We have a gas filter. Okay. Once we take the gas pipe, so that's our in, that's our out. I don't know precisely how I want to do this. But there's our out. Put a gas vent right there. Now this should siphon off hydrogen. And when it do, we will output the hydrogen from here. Then we've got to select an output from this thing. But I don't think we worry about that right now. I think we worry about that later. This guy right here. No gas output draws in gas and runs it through gas pipes. Must be immersed in gas. I'm pretty sure its immersion level is pretty high right now. As far as gas-related RPGs go, I think we've done a great job. Let's go to our furniture menu. I know this is going to backfire on me and do something stupid. There's no way that this doesn't backfire and do something stupid. I know it's going to happen, and I know you all know it's going to happen too because you guys play this game more than I do. And so you're sitting there being like, oh, he's just made a fundamental mistake. He's just messed up so badly, and I, you, I can't hear you through the internet. I can't hear you through the internet, so now I just got to live with my mistakes. Just got to learn to live with them. I think I'm also going to need a ladder over here so that they can build this on this side. In theory, this plan should work until we run out of water. At which point, we will have hopefully stored up enough algae to make it like another 5,000 cycles. But up until we know that that's going to work, I guess we'll just wait and find out. So there's our gas pipe. Dude, our base just keeps getting uglier and uglier with piping. There's just piping goddamn everywhere. I would love for it to look cleaner, but the game is challenging like that. I'm just going to make everything ugly and jimmy-rigged, and we'll do what we got to do. So with the gas filter... Uh, I want you to do hydrogen, is what I want. And then your gas output should just be oxygen. And then that also apparently needs power. Cool. I can do that. Daisy chain all the things! You know, as somebody that worked in IT, I know everything that I'm doing right now is terrible. Like, I understand completely. I'm like, oh, I'm doing a really dumb thing right now. Daisy chaining everything together and just hoping for the best. But at the same time... Okay, so that's all built now. 
The final thing that we need is a gas pipe. So this one, I'm going to need a pipe bridge. Yep, I'm going to need it right there. And I'm going to need that to... Hold on. I'm going to need this to be rotated so it's like that. Just to make it cleaner, I'll probably put it like that right there. That goes in like so. We take this. We take this. Like so. There. All better. And you know what? I'm not the only person terrible at engineering, alright? Last week, I went on vacation, and I got to be on, on board a Soviet U-boat from back in, like, the 50s. And for real, there were so many pipes and valves all daisy-chained and running across each other that I was like, Oh, good, it's not just me when I play Oxygen Not Included. This shit is challenging, man. It's challenging. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and enable the electrolyzers now, because we shouldn't have to go back down into this area, like, ever again. Except for, oh shit, I gotta get that built right there. Until that pipe gets built, we're a little bit hosed. Here, build this. And then prioritize 100% playing with that pipe right there. Play with the pipe! I demand it of thee. Alright, so you... So it's going to pull in oxygen. So for a little while, this is going to do damage. But I'm pretty sure this is going to work in the long term. Like, we just got to fill this whole area up with hydrogen first. And then once we fill it all up with hydrogen, we should be solid, I think. It's just going to take time, okay? I don't know how specifically I only get hydrogen into an area. I suppose a valid option would have been... Actually, I probably could have just killed that vent right there. Hmm. Because I'm piping hydrogen directly into there anyways, the oxygen flow is going to cause that. I've got a, a redundancy right there that doesn't need to exist. A serious redundancy, in fact, that really does not need to exist. So I'll do that, and then we'll put a tile in right there. It's going to take a little while, I think, for this area to fill up with hydrogen, though. It's going to take a little while. It might work. It might not work. I don't know. That and every time they go through here, they're letting more oxygen in and making it worse. Good lord. I suppose I could put a gas filter in right here so that it filters oxygen. And send I probably am going to have to, in all honesty. In all fairness, I'm more than likely going to have to. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm going to redo the piping in here. And we'll see what we can get done. I think what I want this to do is it's going to draw out to a filter. Oh, it worked for a second. Hooray. We are also very out of power right now, which is unfortunate. Because we could definitely use some more power. So if you guys want to get back on it, charge up some batteries, do your thing. There you go. We'll fix this area real quick. Uh, disable that. So that has been effectively disabled. Oh my good sweet lord, they deconstructed everything. Deconstructing in this game definitely needs work. It's difficult to target and deconstruct the things you want to deconstruct. without Because there's foreground and background. Either way, I needed to redesign this room from scratch. So it's not that big of a deal. But it is kind of a big deal. So instead what I'm going to do is I'll deconstruct you. I'm going to move you to the corner. I may need a little bit more room to fiddle around with here too. I didn't think we were going to get this problem solved today. I figured something was going to go wrong and it was going to take me a little bit to jimmy rig it. But it'll be alright. We are also running out of oxygen, which is fantastic. So we'll have to sort that out pretty soon too. Ugh, that's carbon dioxide. Well, it's going to have to work. We are going to have to make this work for right now because I need extra space. Alright, so now that we got the extra space, this is when we will do the gas pump over here. On the power end, we will do the hydrogen generator over here. Yeah, we'll put you right there. 
with this, we needed to siphon off. I needed extra room so that I could play around with uh, the piping. And so what I need is for that to come out to here, we will put in a gas filter. God, this is getting messy. This is getting real messy. That'll go to there. Oxygen will be routed over to there. Except it can't go that way because that'll know, so cancel that. Can't go that way. Instead, we'll have it go... Oh, that's not what I wanted either. Good lord. This is just turning into a fuster cluck. Alright, so we'll take you over to there. And then the output... will go to there. That will go to there. And also to there. Yes? Maybe? I think I've designed a better system this time. I don't know. I suppose we'll find out once it's done. I feel like this system is going to work, but at this point, I've jimmy-rigged so many things together that I don't even know anymore. I'm just flat-out confused. This is not my area of expertise. I did horribly in my electrical and... I did terribly in my electrical engineering classes, I'll be honest with you. Alright, so that's all done. This is going to be the last thing we do in this episode, but let me run an electrical wire to there, and an electrical wire to there. And for now, I just want to get it all functional before this all falls apart. It should be pumping out a lot of hydrogen really shortly. And then after we've got this area completely filled up with hydrogen, it should no longer be a problem. So as for a filter, the filter was oxygen, I think. Yeah, we just wanted oxygen to go out. And since we only have oxygen and hydrogen in here, the remainder should be hydrogen, I think. So that's dumping hydrogen into here, although technically I could have it just dump hydrogen into there, I guess. I could have had it just put hydrogen straight into there. Hmm. I did this in a very roundabout, stupid way, because I thought this was going to draw from the air. Let me take a look at the pipe one more time before we quit and see if I can fix this. I do think I can fix this if I kill that vent right there. I think if that vent goes away, it'll function the way I want it to. Yeah, it looks like it's doing something. Does it produce anything on the side? Like, does it get rid of anything? How much electricity is that producing? A lot or a little? I don't know how much electricity this produces, so that would be my number one confusing factor here. So this should be pulling oxygen from this area. Yes? No? Maybe? It does look like oxygen is flowing, albeit somewhat inefficiently. It does appear to me as though oxygen is flowing. Looks like it's flowing better from there than it is anywhere else. Why is it flowing so well from here? There should be no oxygen supply in here. Hmm. I sense that we've run into the problem. The hydrogen is rising. And also, I think we've hit gas equilibrium in here. So over time, in order to get enough hydrogen in to make this work... Yeah, that's not pumping hydrogen hardly at all. This one's working great, though. This one's killing it right now. Hmm. I fear our system might be a failure. I fear that our system might be a failure. My name is Splattercat. I will see you on the next episode of Oxygen Not Included, where we may suffocate to death because I can't get this quite working the way that I want it to. It's all good, though. I can already hear you shouting at me in the comments. It's okay. It's all right. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I would yell at me, too. I would yell at me, too. I may just put the vent back in right here so that we have more room for the oxygen. I don't know. I'll see you all next time. If you want to get the game for yourself, you know where to do that. You can do that down below in the description. Bye, everybody.